Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a what sold video for last week, Monday through Thursday, which would have been July 25th through the 28th. Still plodding along, still listing as much as I can. I have profit piles galore. Um, started pulling some more of the stuff from the Goodwill bins. I still have all the stuff that I bought from Kim. And guess where I'm going this weekend? I'm going to the Highway 127 sale, which we're going to Crossville, Tennessee, and going to spend a couple days there, meet up with some other resellers, just spend some time away, and hopefully just getting some good footage to share with you guys and finding treasures. Best kind of weekend there is, right? Um, so I'm very much looking forward to it. So we're recording a little bit early, and then this will be out this weekend, um, just so that we don't have to come home and rush and get everything done to get stuff out. So it's going to be fun. I can't wait. All right, let me get to my screens. I've been listing quite a bit of clothes, and it just seems like when I list a lot of clothes, I sell more clothes. When I list a whole lot of plush, I sell more plush. It just kind of seems to go that way for me. So I've got quite a few clothing items to share with you. Um, and then I did sell on five platforms. eBay, of course, being the one that I sell the most on because everything starts there. Um, but I did sell on Facebook, Mercari, Etsy, and Posh. Nothing on Bonanza. And yeah, I think that's the only other one. But it's all right. But my store is on vacation, so I expect to see my sales plummet. It's all right, right? First thing, never heard of this brand. We buy a lot of clothes, um, but it, they're just normal, everyday clothing. Um, for the most part, we pay like a dollar every once in a while, a little bit more for jeans. A lot of our shirts are less than a dollar. Um, but we've done quite well with it. We've only been doing clothing for a year. We decided, you know, toys and specifically stuffed animals has been my thing for so long. But we just decided a whole lot of changes happened in the last two years. I started cross-listing to the other platforms. We started this channel. Um, we stopped selling on Amazon and just, you know, just kind of learning as we go as far as the other niches. You know, we do a whole lot of clothes, vintage Christmas appliances that we part out, stuff like that. But these pants sold for $22. This is Gun Veggie Tales. I pick up all things Veggie Tales. A lot of it is my bread and butter. And then some of this, to me, this is a little bit above and beyond my bread and butter. And I'm content with that. This is Bob the Tomato Plush from 2010. I took a best offer of $15. This is one of my favorite brands. This is Animal Fair. It's more known for the Henry Dog series. Um, but I love, I don't find it very often. I love when I do because I know I have a true vintage treasure. This monkey came, um, was from 1974. I probably got it either at the bins or at an estate sale, and it sold for $32.50. I bought, I want to say six or eight of these at an estate sale. Some of them, I think I had one that was um, painted, it was colored, and then I had to split the rest up based on their um, condition. A lot of times, and that's what like the number two at the end of the thing on here is. That means it's the second lot of them. And it's just so that when eBay sees my disc titles, they don't think I have a duplicate listing. So I just number them. This was the number two. I ended up having three that I thought were in similar condition. Um, this one sold um, for $13.90. I think I paid, I want to say I paid $10 for the six, but I can't remember. Another clothing item, Tommy Hilfiger. I like to pick up a lot of the flannel type shirts. We see lots of them here. Um, this one sold um, for $13. 
This is from Ikea um, Last Gig Dragon Hand Puppet Plush. It sold for $12.95. Um, I pick up a lot of them when we go to the St. Louis bins because it's basically one of the bins is right next door to the Ikea almost. So I find a lot there. But it's a very good quality plush, I think. This is Gund Classic Winnie the Pooh, but this is Kangra. It's one of the smaller plush, 7 inch. I don't know if maybe it's Rue and he went in Kanga. I don't know. But it sold for $9.25. Now these, I picked up seven of these um, glasses. I decided to break them up into two lots. Um, I paid a dollar each and I put these three. I think a couple of them were duplicates. I put these three together and then I still have the other four. I think by fourth quarter I'm going to go ahead and end them and split them up either individually or maybe in lots of two to try to get them moving. I do have high prices on them, but I think they're worth it. Um, I did take a best offer on these three for $79, but they're adorable. I pick up a lot of coffee mugs. This, especially the advertising ones or vintage ones that I just find unique. This was Gateway Country, um, the computer store. It sold for $7.39. This is Zuvenir. I find this quite a lot at the bins. It's just kind of one of my bread and butter. Just black and white cow from 2019. It sold for $12.04. This. See this right here? It says return. Because, and it's annoying, but I do offer free returns basically so that I can get the 10% um, reduction in my final value fees. But this is a dandy Clarice plush from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But look, it says 12 inches here. And you can't see it here, but I always include a picture. My last picture is with a tape measure so that you understand what size it is, but it's being returned because it's bigger than she expected. Those buyers get put on my blockity block block list. Next, I had a couple of issues this weekend. I mean, Monday. Monday I had neutral feedback for something because it didn't include something that wasn't in the pictures. eBay removed it. Make sure I used the automatic feedback remover request and it was gone. Poof. But I had uh, item not received, but shows received. I had um, a return of a pair of jeans that didn't fit. Um, and they returned the wrong jeans. Supposedly, she's admitted that she accidentally sent me the wrong ones and the others are on the way. But it was just, Monday was, we talked about this in my live today. One of my favorite books that I used to read to my children was um, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Viorst. And that's how I felt about Monday. This is a good brand to keep your eye out for. I very seldom find it, but I know that there are collectors out there because every time I find it, I sometimes, well, I've several times I've gotten messages from the person who ends up buying the item saying, do you have any more? So this is Kamar, Kamar. Um, this was a large dog. I probably picked it up at the bins, um, 27 inches long, but it sold for $36.22. All right, let's see, right here, Kamar, made by hand in Korea. All right, this was not a good buy. I thought they were cute. I did check them and they do sell, but I bought a whole bunch of these. These are Homco Denim Days. And um, when I got them home, we had had them wrapped up in like a blue Ikea bag and somehow that bag ended up under other things. And so several people, several, several people, several items were broken. Um, 
and it's just they're fragile I didn't have boxes it was just probably it's not something that I will buy again this was the first one I listed and it sold within a day or two of listing it I did take a best offer of eight dollars I got them relatively cheap but it's just too much breakables even if I'm not packing them now these these are John Wagner and Son tea tins I picked up a bunch of these at the St. Louis bins and listed them individually I did see some that were listed as collectible and I have been selling them I don't think I have very many left this is little it's like a three quarter ounce tin I marked all of them empty they were empty it's for the tin only and this little one sold for nine dollars and 25 cents I think I got like eight to twelve dollars for each one of them this is Disney 101 Dalmatian this was penny um, just a plush picked up probably at the bins or at a yard sale quarter 50 cents and it sold for nine dollars now this I'm pretty sure we picked this up at a yard sale I picked up I want to say two of them this is Tycho Viewmaster Spider-Man three reel reels still in its original packaging um, and it sold for $27.85 it's only been listed like a month I think I like you guys know I pick up a lot of plush but I really like when I find plush that's out of the norm like this this is a Lynx Bobcat I don't find that very often I don't even think I knew who the man oh now I remember weird tag all it said was sample I didn't even put that in the title as the manufacturer but it sold for $13.90 Boyd's Bears I pick them up but usually a dollar or less I don't usually pay very much more than them except if I was to find some more of those message bears like my what sold that I sold one for $125 then yeah I might pay up for them this was just a six inch Archibald plush they almost a lot of times have a little brown paper tag and it'll tell you who they are but Google Lens is also really good about telling you who they are this one sold for nine dollars and 25 cents this was from the online high bid estate sale from last year my one and only online auction that I've done but it is something that I would like to pursue further probably this winter when the yard sale season has slowed down estate sales here go all year so but hopefully you know with fewer yard sales I'll have more time to watch these online estate sales and look for ones where I can buy a lot of stuff and then go pick it up um, but this was from the one that we did last year it was just an Avon hoedown horse car critter seat belt companion I think it attached it was still in its bag sold for seven dollars and 25 cents but I'm still selling that stuff I'm getting to the point where the baskets that I designated for them are starting to get um, empty enough that I'm going to start combining them so I can open up those baskets for all this other stuff that I'm buying another clothing item I think this was uh, Lauren jeans company Ralph Lauren just a plain shirt um, usually we only pay like a quarter or 50 cents a lot of times we get these at um, just like church rummage sales or yard sales um, took a best offer of ten dollars on this 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 was one of my mistakes this orange tabby cat from Aurora I had two of them in the basket and didn't realize that I didn't grab the correct one so I did get a case for a um, incorrect item shipped I've tried to contact them um, it's not letting me respond at all to the case that they opened I've sent them several messages saying go ahead and keep that's how I normally do it just keep the item that I sent you and the other ones on its way I'm not sure how this is going to end because there's nowhere for me to respond to the case so I'm hoping they'll see one of my messages and close it but I'm gonna watch the 
the tracking and as soon as it is received I'll maybe try to call eBay even though I don't like doing that I've had to call eBay a lot this week for just different issues and I've gone like months without having to call them but my mistake we all do it just got to pay more attention when I'm pulling plush this Robert picked this up a couple weekends ago it was the last day of an estate sale it was fill a box for five dollars and he brought tons of Francoma pottery home um, I've got all of it listed and this is the first piece that sells and it was damaged as you can see in the title I made sure to write read damaged I showed a picture of it it's just right here on the tip of the leaf it has been chipped off first one I mean this technically paid for all of it and it was a damaged piece there was a time I would not list damaged stuff I wouldn't even list plush with stains or other issues but I've learned my lesson especially this year of just um, doing these YouTube videos and sharing all of my experiences with you I've learned it doesn't have to be perfect you just need to be accurate in your description so already made our money back low dollar sale yes but it's out the door another pair of jeans these are Lee women's jeans again they sold for $15.51 we probably have a dollar in it these are Lego Duplo animals I tend to find them a lot in the bins when I'm just getting a whole lot of littles or smalls um, and then I'll do small lots um, I just ended up with these five and threw in the two pitchforks they sold for ten dollars and 25 cents and then this this is a tiny Tupperware bowl lot I bought a bag of Tupperware for two dollars at I want to say an estate sale and it had some of the child size little cups um, and that's the main reason why I bought the bag but then it had like a little small salt and pepper shaker and it had this and it had like a small bowl um, somebody I think made a comment that these were called smidgets but it, this had already sold by the time the, the video it was released and somebody but hopefully in the future if I ever find these little teeny tiny Tupperware items I'll know to at least make you know put smidgets in there all right five sales from other platforms no four sales from other platforms um, this first one is Facebook marketplace I'm about to quit on them today I noticed okay something's wrong with them when I first started on there I could be listing stuff and selling it as quickly as I could get it listed and I'm not quite sure what happened but my sales have just almost completely stopped but I have like 2,000 items on there and then today I open up the app and it's showing load your videos I guess now you can load videos onto the Facebook marketplace to showcase your items but the views are messed up and the watchers are messed up and just I wish they would fix it because it had the potential to, for me when it first started to maybe give eBay a run for their money but it's not that way anymore but this was a nice sell nevertheless $35 but I've hardly sold anything on there I'm not even cross-listing on there anymore I'm just doing the renewals and the delete and relists because I just think getting my stuff on Mercari and Poshmark and Etsy I have a better chance of getting my stuff sold and then this was Kelly not Kelly Mer Mercari the item is a Kelly toy rabbit plush I do use the keyword quilted I find these quite often um, in like lime green this blue pink yellows um, and they sell very well for me this one sold on Mercari for $11 I've done really well on Etsy for as few listings as I have on there I've been selling several a week which I think is amazing I think I just shipped two this past weekend and then I had this sell um, previous to that but 
tomorrow while we're driving to the 127 cell, I'm bringing my laptop, hooking up the hotspot, and I'm going to be cross-listing for the drive. I keep saying that it's like three and a half hour drive. It's only like two and two hours and some. So hopefully we're, we're going to leave early and get there and spend the whole day yard selling, which is nice. But this will be after this. I'll be back by the time you guys are seeing this video, I think. But I bought two different sets of these Tupperware Tupper toys. One I paid $5 for, one I paid $3 for. I can't remember which is which. This is the party set cake holder um, from the 1980s. When I opened it up, unfortunately, the this little carrier part right here that um, holds the cake pan bottom, a child had chewed on it. Not to the point where it was unusable, but it was very noticeable. So I did put that in the listing and this sold very quickly on once I got it cross-listed to Etsy. $24.95. And then Poshmark. I bought these for myself at a yard sale. Um, and then I didn't like them. Didn't like them. So I went ahead and listed them on eBay and then cross-listed to Poshmark. These are Bear Traps women's strap sandals. And they sold for $13. I think I paid a dollar for them at yard sale. So I'm good. All right. I think that's it. I've got to get stuff ready for tomorrow's drive and I'll see you guys when we get back. Bye.